So let's talk Sea of Thieves customization. Now in the closed beta we didn't get to play with character customizations such as hair, face, and stuff like that. But we did get to play with other customizations like equipment and such. Here we're actually looking at one that is probably going to be a weapon shop, but they didn't have it implemented. Uh, and the only weapon was actually moved to a different spot. Here we have what looks to be a equipment shop. We'll copy it in. And this is Salty's item shop. And these are different equipment. You'll see there's a blender bus down there. And that's where that weapon will eventually move to the other shop. Uh, different options and stuff like that. And here we have the clothing shop with a little boot on it. And here you can pick different clothing options. I've already got the belt picked and everything. Uh, but there's going to be more choices as we go. There'll be a lot more things people can pick from in the end. Now, none of the items will actually have stats that rack up or anything like that. So don't worry about that kind of things. It's all vanity type things. Now, here's a gold hoarder's shop. It's another type of shop you can go to. And as you upgrade with these guilds and do missions, you can actually buy different webs. They unlock different things like here's a shovel and a compass. And they have little requirements that require you for each one that you need to accomplish before you can buy them. To apply your customizations, you'll go to these little chests. Like there's an equipment chest. And you can see you can choose the different... Uh, types of equipment you can base on which ones you're going to change the skin for or type of whatever it is and there's ones for clothing as well and there's even in a place to get these on your own ship which is pretty handy so you can either go to the shops on the outposts or right here you can see right on your ship there's the clothing chest right here you can see you can go through all the different items and toward the front of the boat we have one for the equipment as well which is pretty handy. I like the fact you can just do this on the boat. You don't have to be at an outpost to change all these different things. You actually just go to your boat, change them on the fly. A lot of times, especially since we had a problem, they didn't spawn on us uh, equipped when we were on the boat. So it's nice we could actually be on the boat and just enable these things as we wanted to go. We're out on the sea. Change your mug up, you know? Now, along with these, you also do boat customizations. They haven't put this in the game, but you can do things like the sails, the cannons, liveries like the front, the capstan, the wheel. And there's going to be a couple different ones. They didn't really cover this, but these are things that we found while mining for the data, the files, and stuff like that. Uh, and has been talked about by uh, Rare and the Sea of Thieves teams themselves. Now, the place that you'll probably do this, my guess anyway, is right here, which is a little outpost, like little shop that's on the outpost dock and everything. Um, nothing was, you know, official for whether that's going to be true or not, but that's my guess. But thank you guys for watching, and you know if you like this video, definitely hit a like. Uh, if you want to see more video about Sea of Thieves, hit subscribe, and thank you guys for watching.